Have you ever heard a sound or noise that was so loud that it almost took your breath away? Did you notice it was the deepness and the power of the sound that created that pressure on your body? Perhaps you started to feel fatigued after a while, maybe even sick to your stomach? Sometimes when we're investigating the paranormal, we walk into a space that gives us an eerie feeling of being watched, or that someone is looming over your shoulder. It may be caused by something you can't see, but it could also be caused by something you can't hear. Sound can be a very powerful thing and will overtake you if you let it. Infrasound is classified as a sound that is so low that it cannot be heard audibly by the human ear. These sound waves are in fact vibrating, but we are unable to detect it with our sense of hearing. Many species in the animal kingdom already have the power to communicate on these subaudible levels, like whales when it's mating season, and elephants when it's time to travel together. Some humans also have the capability to communicate on these ghostly levels of sound, like vocalist Tim Storms. Amazing gray. We all have some very sensitive gadgetry within us to detect these vibrations and low tones. A publication in New Scientist magazine tells the story of office workers that worked near an engine testing site. Although the sound emanating from the engine test site wasn't loud empirically, the low frequency of 8 Hz, which is barely audible, attributed to the office workers feeling uneasy and disturbed. Uncomfortable, oppressed. These types of symptoms are not normally exhibited within normal ranges of sound. Due to varying the infrasonic wave pattern being created by the engines being tested, the impact of the low frequency affected workers differently in different parts of the office. In order for these low frequencies to become bothersome to humans, it would have to be under 100 Hz but above 150 decibels. Between 2 Hz and 100 Hz, the side effects would include moderate chest wall vibration, a sensation of gagging, a blurring of vision, and amplitude modulation of speech. No permanent damage should be expected. Places such as engine rooms of large vessels like ferries and ships, as well as blast furnaces, are often still operational in likely paranormal hotspot locations. Always take into account would be air ventilation systems and machinery that emit a very low hum. Although these types of sound waves are quite uncommon, you should factor them in.